Hello, beautiful internet family. Danny from danstube.tv. And it's that time again. The rumor mill's been turning. And it looks like we have a brand new Mavic Mini about to hit the market. Of all drones, I was not expecting a new Mavic Mini anytime soon. Still waiting on that Mavic 3 Pro that might or might not ever hit the market. Who knows? Maybe it's coming. 2030? Who knows what's going to happen there. But the new drone is called the Mini SE. And as you can see from the leaked photos, it's almost confirmed at this point. DJI have had the worst luck. Pretty much the last five drones have been leaked on them. Everyone knows the details before they're even announced, let alone hitting the market. And it looks like the same situation again, where the Mini SE is ready to go. So for people out there that already have the Mavic Mini, do you need to care about the Mini SE? Or should you be looking into the Mini 2? Or even the Air 2S or the Mavic 2 Pro? Well, let's be honest here. If you're waiting for the Mini SE, you're gonna be disappointed. It's nothing crash hot. It's going to be basically this drone here, the original Mavic Mini, but it's gonna be slightly cheaper. So that's amazing for people wanting to enter the drone space. This drone, the SE, not these guys, I don't have the SE yet, but the Mini SE is going to be a really good starting point for people. It's gonna be cheaper than the original Mini and it's going to have everything that you would expect from the Mavic Mini. So what I think they've done here is they've obviously mass produced the original Mavic Mini and the Mini 2. They've got pretty much identical bodies and components. It almost feels like this was a software limitation and then this guy here that has the exact same camera, they are identical besides the fact that this says 4K on it. The only other difference is that the wing tips are orange on the Mini 2 and they're gray on the original Mavic Mini. Everything else is pretty much identical. You can almost call it a software limitation on the Mavic Mini. So it feels like what they've done here is they've mass produced these two drones. Obviously the exact same components, the exact same body, and the fact that they've mass produced it has obviously brought down the cost. They've released so many components and, and chassis for the drone to the point that now they can pull the price down, rebrand the Mavic Mini, call it the Mini SE, and then get even more people to come into the drone space. So for a lot of people, this is not the drone for you, 100%. If you own a Mavic Mini, you don't need to care about the Mini SE. If you own any other drone, the Mini 2, the Air 2, the Air 2S, the Mavic 2 Pro, even the Mavic Pro, then the Mini SE might not be something that you need to care about. But that being said, if you want to get something a bit more portable, a little smaller, something that can get through those tight little gaps, something that you can have a lot of fun with, and something that you don't have to worry about if you smash it into a tree, then the Mini SE could be a really nice complimentary drone for people, and it's also the perfect starter drone for people who have never owned a drone before. Based on the leaks so far, it looks like it's going to be even cheaper than the original Mavic Mini. It looks like it's going to be $299 for the Mini SE, and that is ridiculous. Again, it comes down to that mass production. They've been able to pull the prices down and almost re-release, repurpose the Mavic Mini. It looks like it's going to be almost identical down to a T, but it's gonna be rebranded and a little bit cheaper. So that being said, it looks like the original controller from the Mavic Mini, which was a similar controller design for the Spark and you know even the Mavic Pro, very similar. Besides the fact that some of the other drones had an actual screen on the display here, almost identical again. So they have mass produced this controller to the point that they can obviously pull those prices down and almost just re-release it for the Mini SE. The Mini 2 though had this beast here, the updated controller with improved range and a whole redesigned uh, controller itself. Doesn't look like this is going to come out. This is relatively new and they're keeping that for the Mini 2. But based on what we can see, this controller is gonna be coming with the Mini SE. It's gonna be pretty much the exact same thing. Like this is it, this is the Mini SE basically, but they've just called this one the Mavic Mini. They've waited a while and then re-released this guy rebranded it and called it the SE. If we have a look at the leaked photo here, we can see that the Mini SE has a 2.7K camera. It looks pretty much identical to the Mavic Mini. We've got a 2.7K camera with a 12 megapixel sensor. It's got a range of 2.5 miles. It's got a flight time of up to 30 minutes. So, so far, everything is the same. It's GPS enabled, yep, tick, that's the same. It's Wi-Fi, which again is the exact same. If we look at the Mini 2, which uses OcuSync and that new controller, 
it doesn't look like we're gonna get that new controller. It's gonna be the original Mavic Mini controller with that Wi-Fi connection. It's then also got Bluetooth, it's app enabled, obviously through the DJI Fly app, and it's got return to home as well, which you would expect at this point. So on paper and from everything we can see, it really is just a rebranded Mavic Mini, slightly cheaper, but with everything the exact same as the Mavic Mini. For people who have been on my channel now for a while, it's not news to you at all that I absolutely love the Mavic Mini. It revolutionized the drone space. It was an affordable, foldable, capable drone with everything you need, really down to a T. This is the thing I recommend to pretty much everyone that wants to get into the drone space. Also a quick mention, I do have a Mavic Mini Facebook group. It's called Mavic Mini Australia. I will have those links below to check that out. Or if you wanna check out the Mini 2 or Mavic Mini, I'll have some links below to check it out on DJI and Amazon's website. Both fantastic drones, and honestly, based on what we can see so far from the leaks, you really don't need to wait around for the SE. If you've got the money and you've already got a previous drone and you wanna get something smaller and just as capable, the Mini 2 is the one to get, really, at this point. But if you want something really cheap, something that you can have a lot of fun with, destroy it almost and just do whatever you want, get through tiny gaps, get really unique footage, then either the Mavic Mini or the Mini SE is your go-to. And I guess you might as well wait for the Mini SE. It's probably just around the corner. We can expect it in the coming months. And if it's gonna be cheaper than this guy here, the Mavic Mini, and it's gonna have everything pretty much identical, you might as well wait for the Mini SE in that situation. So I guess, it's kind of a weird point. Like if you're brand new into the drone space, the Mini SE is a great starting point. And if you want something just for a bit of fun, a throw around drone, something you don't care about damaging as much as your more expensive drone, then the Mini SE could be that great point. So I think honestly, DJI have done something pretty exciting here for them because they're gonna make a ton of money out of this. They've already mass produced the body and the components so it's no major issue for them. They can just pump it out and rebrand it and it's this new exciting thing that's actually no different from their previous model. But I think the fact that it's come down in price is gonna be a massive appeal for people wanting to get into the drone space and for people who wanna have a fun throw around drone. So again, there's nothing too much to it. We haven't had too many leaks. We've just had a few pictures pop up. And based on what we can see, it is the Mavic Mini, the exact same drone rebranded. And we've seen this from other companies in the past. It's a fantastic strategy to capitalize on that cheaper, that budget drone space again. DJI are already dominating that space with the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2. They've obviously discontinued the Spark, which was their original budget drone. And now we've got the Mini SE just around the corner that's even cheaper again. So they're really going to capitalize on that budget drone space. I'd love to know in the comments below though, who's gonna get this? Is this something that's worth our time? Should we care about this? Should we encourage this behavior from DJI? Or is this just that capitalistic mindset where they're trying to capitalize on as much as they can, make as much money as they can, really corner the drone market and have every single category, the budget, the mid and the high range drone market. Are we okay with this? Is this a good move moving forward? I'd love to know in the comments below. I'll chat to you in the next one guys. Peace out.